The sun sets on Liverpool's Asian tour with their fourth match before heading back to the UK. But as the floodlights came on, they seemed a little brighter than usual. The fans that flocked to Bukit Jalil Stadium on Friday night were in incredible spirits. Their beloved Reds were on a three-game winning streak with a goal spree within that. But more importantly, they were here in KL. Well, I've been to Anfield before, so seeing them again in Kuala Lumpur, it's going to be huge. And uh, with the new signings and all, it's just, it's amazing. It's an incredible feeling when Bukit Jalil Stadium is filling up to the rafters. But tonight, you can almost feel the passion of the fans radiating onto the pitch for a match where most fans want both teams to win. Now, as you can see, I've picked a lane for tonight, but trust me when I tell you, I'm one of the very few. The cynics would say having more red than blue or yellow and black in a match like this everywhere could be a major influence on the massive difference in class between the BPL and Malaysian football, as was seen during a 7-0 romp of MSL side Felder United during Thursday's practice session. But this night wasn't for the cynics, it was for the fans, who watched a cracking game, though not as high scoring. Surprisingly, it was Malaysia to take the lead on 12 minutes. Patrick Roulet outmuscling the Liverpool defence before firing a beautiful shot past Adam Bogdan for the 1-0 lead. Liverpool would get their equaliser 16 minutes later. Great work from Jordan Ebay, who found the back of the net with a terrific strike. They could have had another before half-time, with Divock Origi missing two crucial chances, both saved by keeper Kyril Azan. After the break, Liverpool kept pressing. Adam Lallana and James Milner both handed glorious opportunities, but both couldn't convert. The Malaysia 11 didn't relent, though, and Norsharul Talaha even had an injury time shot at glory, but it was parried away to safety by Adam Bogdan. 1 1 the final score, and after the match, Brendan Rodgers, gracious to the result, but you think maybe he expected a little more. I think they, they scored a good goal. Disappointment from our perspective, but. Uh, they work very, very hard, as you'd expect. For the players like Colo Toure, regardless of the result, it was always about preparation alone. The most important, we prepared very, very well. We played against a really good side, which uh, put us under pressure. And uh, that's, uh, I think that's really, really good for us to prepare the season. And the season going to be really competitive. So, four games down, three wins, one draw. Good stats. But are they ready for the BPL in their opener against Stoke City? Find out right here on August the 9th. For Fox Sports Asia, this is Jeevan Sovanarland.